Ladies and gentlemen, in the event that we find out everything we've ever been told about outer space is not true, please disregard all this information. All right, now that we've got that weird disclaimer out of the way, let us carry on. Have regular human beings found planet 9, planet 10, planet 11, planet 12? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe planets aren't even real, man. So put on your fun, happy, skeptical, red pill, blue pill hat, and let's go. Thor News. Bring that stone cold science. Thor News, bring the real badass science. A lot of people don't get it, because I tell jokes, and they're like, hey man, there's one thing we know for a fact, scientists are not allowed to have a sense of humor. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Starting to see pictures, ain't you? I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. And action! Hit the button, baby. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. Holy mackerel. Take a look for yourself. Yeah, sort of spooky-like. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. It's tough to find something when you don't know what you're looking for. That proves it. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. Oh, uh, just... Hey, I found an article. Let us read it. We have physics out of work, talking about Planet Nine and drinking games. Anytime I mention Planet Nine or Pluto Killer, take a drink of your favorite alcoholic beverage. Unless you're under 21, then drink chocolate milk. Four unknown objects being investigated in Planet Nine search. Look at that scrappy bunch of ass kickers. And you, Australians, they look like they've showered lately. Some of them do. Astronomers from the Australian National University. That sounds like an online university. And you are investigating four unknown objects that could be candidates for a new planet in our solar system. Following the launch of their planetary search on the BBC's Stargazing Live broadcast from the Anu Siding Spring Observatory. <sighs> Lead researcher Dr. Brad Tucker said about 60,000 people from around the world had classified over 4 million objects in space as part of the ANU-led citizen search for the so-called Planet Nine. And I'm including that 60,000. It's kind of fun. I made a video about it. We've detected minor planets Chiron and Comacina, which demonstrates the approach we're taking could find Planet Nine if it's there and real, said Dr. Tucker from the ANU Research School of Astronomy and Astrophysics. Dr. Tucker said the sky mapper Telescope at Siding Spring used as part of the project was crucial in ruling out areas in the southern sky where Planet 9 could be situated. I wonder what they've managed to do. We've managed to rule out a planet about the size of Neptune, being in about 90% of the southern sky, out of the depth of about 350 miles of the distance Earth is from the sun. That sentence confused me. What? We've managed to rule out a planet at about the size of Neptune, being in about 90% of the southern sky, out of a depth of about 350 times the distance of Earth is from the sun, he said. I still don't understand it, so move on. With the help of tens of thousands of dedicated volunteers sifting through hundreds of thousands of images taken by SkyMapper, we've achieved four years of scientific analysis in under three days. One of those volunteers, Toby Roberts, has made 12,000 classifications. The team will confirm whether or not the unknown space objects are Planet Nine, dwarf planets, or asteroids by using telescopes at Siding Spring and around the world. Dr. Tucker said he encouraged people to continue their hunt for Planet Nine through the project website on Zooniverse.org. Professor Chris Lintot from Zoo Universe and the University of Oxford said that while Planet Nine had not been found, it had been great fun sharing the search with all of the volunteers over the past three nights. SkyMapper is a 1.3 meter telescope that is creating a full record of the southern sky for Australian astronomer. We're talking about citizen scientists closing in on Planet Nine. This shadowy sub-Neptune world may finally be revealed. And oh, aren't you excited? But I actually think they tell us a lot of stuff between the lines. So... It really doesn't help to be a total cynic, man. You know, you got to be neutral in your discernment. And so if you think everything that tells us is a lie, you're going to miss a lot. The likelihood that the planet is the farthest away from the sun is also making things a bit trickier. Actually, you didn't do your research, people at astronomy.com, because nobody's suggesting that it's the farthest away from the sun, because there are a lot that go way, way, way out there. I guess you didn't get, get drink that much. This article's short, so I didn't get to say Mike Brown much. I love this project, said Mike Brown. That guy killed Pluto. Pluto killer. If you're interested in joining the ranks of other astronomers around the world, you can participate in the search that uses SkyMapper data and look through the grainy images yourself where you'll find stars, galaxies, and specks of other worlds. Maybe even a new planet. The project does have the endorsement of the official Planet 9 team after all. I love this project, says Mike Brown. 
I guess I gotta be a jerk at the end and just say Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Pluto killer, Pluto killing, Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Mike Brown. Don't get alcohol poisoning people, Mike Brown, Pluto killer. All right, so we're gonna go over to Zooniverse, and in the next video, we'll take a look at all their good photos and um make a lot of jokes about them. Okay, you can handle that. We have a unique chance to do something that no human has ever done in over 150 years: discover a new planet in our solar system. Imagine being the first person in human history to spot Planet Nine. I can't wait, said unnamed researcher. Okay, so thank you everyone for the five million classifications in three days. That's amazing. We gotta talk. Zooniverse. All right. And then we will look through other classifications, which I can't find yet. So I'll find it later and then we'll talk about it later. Okay, peace out. God bless everyone. See you soon in the next one. And all of a sudden, NASA started talking about Planet X. I was like, wait, what, what, what? Wait, what? Hi, I'm Jim Green, Director of Planetary Science at NASA. I couldn't be more pleased about what's happening. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. Wait, what, what, what? Wait, what? Dude, seriously, uh, it's called Planet Nine or Fatty. Now you're calling it Planet X? NASA, that's weird. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. There's a real planet out there still to be found. It's important for us to continue to work. So the object itself likely sits right in between that terrestrial to giant icy planet range. People have always looked at all these other planets in this strange mass range and said, wow, I wonder what these are. I don't know what these are because we don't have anything like it in the solar system. Looks like maybe we do. It's too early to say with certainty that there's a so-called Planet X out there. I'm really hoping that as we announce this, people, people start a, uh, a worldwide search to go find this ninth planet. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. Oh, this actually might even be true. Or we'll determine an alternate explanation for the data that we've received so far. There's something.